hey guys what's up welcome to this video and in today's video i'm going to show you exactly how to create an online you know platform where you can start selling your digital products either you want to sell an ebook a course or whatever you want to sell i'm going to show you exactly how to go about it in today's video now one of the very best way to make money online is selling your product especially digital downloads now is some some of you have those digital downloads but you don't know how to set it up how to you know make how to present it so that you can be able to be you know sell it to people that actually need the product so in today's video i'm going to show you three tools just three tools i'm going to show you how to connect three of them so that you can start making money selling your digital download so this is going to be a full tutorial and i want to say you okay, you you know watch this video to the end so that you get the real value in this video so before we dive straight into the video my name is kingsley from kingobina.com if you are new to the channel i want you to subscribe because in this channel i drop sweet videos that are going to guide you on how to you know set up your e-commerce store make money online blogging tech and a lot of other stuff that you'll be interested in so make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that you won't miss any video once i drop them on this channel so without further ado i'll dive straight into the into this into today's video okay so like i told you i'm going to set up a site where we can start selling our digital downloads especially an ebook or you know any digital downloads that you you know you probably want to sell so in doing this we're going to use three tools okay one of the very first one is google sites the next one we're going to use is google drive and uh, the next one we're going to use is the payments gateway um right here is that in paypal you can also use paystack or you know any other payment gateway you want so in doing that you have to the first thing you need to do is to go to sites.google.com okay so go to your browser or your desktop and search for sites.google.com so once you type in sites.google.com you'll be brought straight to this page so um if it's your first time you're not you're probably not going to see all these sites okay so you're going to see only this top site okay this is uh, the just the ones google just did and asked you to edit them and um, to fill your business but we are going to start building our own from scratch it's very easy to do so just go to site of google.com click on this blank canvas and you'll be brought straight to this editor page okay so once you're brought straight to this editor's page it's loading up right now so um once you once you're here okay it's load up yeah so once you're here the next thing is to start editing this stuff so that it's going to fit exactly what we want it to do so the, the first thing i like doing is to give my you know site a name so give this digital or this your store let's say you want to sell <coughs> ebooks um one or two or three any amount you could just give it a name so i'll just call this king's i'll just call this king store okay or kings digital you know so just give it a name king digital and i like to change the text just make it bold and um, change the font as well i like to change the font to impact i just love this impact and the next thing i like doing is to center this stuff okay so that it will be fine so as you can see kings digital the next thing you want to do right now is to change this image background so is it that you upload an image or you select so i just like selecting so select an image okay so um let's select this so is it that you select this or you just go to search you can search i like searching by color so i will say blue which you see a good blue yeah so i'll just take this and um, click on select so it's going to be pasted here as you can see it's looking sweet so this is what we need okay so the next thing we need to do now is to edit the body of our page and we can also preview this thing live okay so as you're editing you can keep previewing it as you can see right now i want to preview it this is going to look like on a desktop this side is going to look like on a tablet and this is how it's going to look like on a mobile phone so it's looking great so let's continue our editing so just xr here the next thing we want to do right now is to give a catch here so just double click here and um, select text so I'll, i like giving a catch i'll write something like um the burst digital store So once I'm done here, I will center this stuff. 
so just center it here and um, change the font or change the text I like area so area is good and I'll make it bold and uh, the next thing I want to do is to change the color so to change the color just come to this angle here and um, type um, color and give it this color yeah I think it's good you can also change the color if you want I think I like it like this so we've done this now we can now start adding our um, ebooks here but before we do that uh make sure your ebook is ready the cover everything is ready okay so you can if you if you want to create an ebook cover you can go to canva.com so this is a free bonus this is not among the two but it's a you know bonus tip go to canva.com and edit your ebook cover so you can search for ebook here and you'll be given so many ebook templates and you can edit the cover as you want okay so um after doing that the next thing after editing your ebook cover you have it already and um, you have your ebook downloaded already so i'll just probably get an ebook cover because i want to use it in this tutorial to show you exactly how <coughs> it works so let's let me download an ebook cover and uh, you know use it to show you how you're going to do it so let's say this is these are so many ebooks okay so let's say uh, i like this cover i just click on it and I can edit it any way I want. Change the color, change the text, change the pictures, and um, anything. So I'm going to download it the way it is and um, use it to show you exactly how to do it in this video. So if you're getting value from this video, make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell icon, so that you won't miss future videos once I drop them on this channel. So because this channel is packed with a uh, lot of goodies information that's going to help you succeed. So let me just download this stuff right now and um you know continue with the tutorial. So download and um it's downloading. So once we've done that we have our ebook cover right now. The next thing we want to do right now is to pick this point. I like picking this point. So just pick it and drop it here. Now we need to upload our ebook cover here. So just click on upload and um, it's going to open up our computer and say we should select the um, the picture or the cover or whatever we want to upload here. So let me check if this thing is available. Um, okay, let me XR here. Let me see if I can drag it. Okay, uh, I downloaded the wrong format. After, um, I'll go back to canva and click download and download this as a png file so that it's going to be an image because if i download it as a pdf it's not going to show up there so download it as a png file so that it you have you have only the image okay that's another bonus there okay so once downloaded it's downloaded right now so once downloaded i'll just drag and drop it here so drag and drop it here is going to load up the image yeah so the next thing i want to do is to adjust the image to fit um to fit the size or to fit what we want to use it for yeah exactly so as you can see it's looking yeah it's looking good so the next thing i want to give it a title so give it a title i'll just give it the title i'm seeing here stay with me and um of course i will bolden this and um, center it that's the way i love it so after that we need to write a detailed description now this is very important this is the hook this is what is going to entice your customers to buy the products you need to tell them detailed stuff here because if you don't tell them detailed stuff they won't know how the book is going to help them so you need to tell them how the book is going to help them what what they should expect what you're trying to offer and um, what the the problem the ebook is trying to solve you know you need to tell them detailed stuff here so um i don't have anything to say so i'm just going to write i'm just going to just write the dummy stuff here but i've told you exactly what you need to do here you need to write detailed description to make uh, people want to buy the ebook and um, they should know exactly what it's done is all about so now we've done this very simple header and the hook and uh, we have our product set up as you can see it's looking great so the next thing we need to do right now is to you know connect the 
product and this website because now they can come to the website and um, they can see the product but where is the product now we need to go to drive.google.com this is drive.google.com if once you have a gmail account you have a free 15 gig of dry of space to upload or do whatever you want to do here so the next, what you want to do here is to upload the ebook itself so just click on new and click on file upload you, you want to upload the ebook and now select the product you want to upload the ebook you're trying to sell upload it here so it's going to be stored here on the drive so i'm not going to upload anything so once uploaded here now we've integrated this we've uploaded our product on our google drive the next thing we need to do now is to go to our payment gateway in this situation i'll be using paypal but you can also use paystack okay just go to paystack.com create an account you can use flutterwave go to flutterwave.com create an account everything i'm teaching you right here every payment gateway should be able to do it so you you just need to you know choose any payment gateway you want to use so right now i'm going to create buttons okay so i'm going to click here on paypal pay and get pay and go to paypal buttons so if you're using paystack just go and create a payment page if you're using flutterwave go and create a payment page very simple if you don't understand tell me in the comment section and i'll consider making the video and i've made some a video similar to it let me show you um if you don't understand you can watch um, one of my video i've made a video where i integrated paystack um or flutterwave into an e-commerce um uh, platform just similar to what i'm showing you right now so you can watch the video um i can't see the video but once i see the video i will let you know so you can check my channel or you go to, or you search for yeah this is the video yeah this is the video pay stack integration okay so you can watch this video right here yeah pay stack integration how to create a free understand so you you watch this and you learn how to integrate pay stack to this what we're talking about so you can watch this video so once that once that is done go to i'm going to be using paypal okay so once i've clicked on create button i want to create a buy now button just this simple button buy now button so click on it and it's going to open up um an interface so that interface is what we are going to use to connect it so you want to leave this buy now you want to put this item name you want to write the name of the item here so i think the name of the item is stay with me okay so you want to write the name of the item here and um you want to choose the price let me say this ebook is ten dollars you will choose the currency as well so let's say it's ten dollars is customized button i'll just leave the button the way it is shipping we don't want to collect any shipping fee because it's a digital product not a physical product step two track and inventory we don't need this it's a, you know it's a it's a digital product not a physical product now this is so um say you're logged in okay i'm not logged in okay um and i think i need to be logged in let me log in right now uh saying i'm not logged in so once um you get to that point let me log in right now again so that everything will be fine and uh, i'll show you the process so once you get to that point it's easy so i'll show you exactly how to you know collect payment and deliver the product automatically okay don't worry so just follow me in this video so we'll go back and start the process again click on paid and get paid click on paypal buttons and um, once paypal button is open click on buy now button and once buy now button is open we want to enter those details we entered before so we entered the name the price and um and so on so the item name i'll write it again stay with me that's the name of the pro ebook the pro the price is just ten dollars and uh, every other thing i'll leave it the way it is we don't need to collect any shipping or anything tracking we don't we're not tracking anything here so we'll leave it the way it is click on customize or advanced function now this is where the magic is going to happen stay attentive now leave everything the way it is and come to this point take customers to this url when they cancel the checkout when they cancel their checkout you can return them back to the page when, when they cancel but leave this blank i like leaving this blank now this is now the main point take customers to this url when they finish checkout so once they finish their checkout 
you want to that you know you want to lead them to the you want to give them lead them to the url where they can download their products okay so you want just what, what you want to do right there is remember we have uploaded our products here on google drive so let's say this is the product i uploaded on google drive all we want to do right now is to right click on this stuff and get the link okay so once they get this link after payment they are going to be redirected to this link where they can be able to download the product so even if you are sleeping you are eating you know you are having fun or whatever people can still buy your product and get the products that they paid for automatically with this process for free we are not paying anything to do this so that is great so just click on get link and it's going to provide you with a link no now that link is where you're going to paste on paypal so that or whatever whatever payment get to you're using so make sure this link is not restricted okay so only people added can open with this link so just click on um you can leave it on anyone with the link okay you want to leave it to anyone with the link and download the product click on anyone with the link and download the product now this pro this process is going to help you get started now if you want to do more advanced stuff of course you will need to wordpress and the rest of them now i'm going to show you exactly how to do those other ones later on so um once that is done you want to now copy this link copy this link and now click on done now go back to paypal or whatever payment gateway you're using and ctrl v paste this link here very simple press this link i mean paste this link here and click on create button now what paper is going to do is they're going to create the this button for us in two ways is that we embed it or we click on this email function and get the link so we don't need to embed anything so we just want to get the link so just copy this link that paypal has given us ctrl c copy it and go back to google sites here now want to add buttons okay so just search for buttons here this is button now what's the name of the button we'll say buy now very simple i hope you're getting value from it now link we want to paste the link we copied from paypal now ctrl v paste the link here and click on insert the button is going to come here but we want to drag it here we want to drag it here or we'll just drag it to the we want to drag the button here so you should stay here okay very sweet okay so this is it remember what i told you here you need to give the detailed um, stuff about the ebook and now you can now tell them to buy the ebook now so now we can preview this stuff and see if everything is working and if everything is cool so this is how it's going to be on the desktop so let me click on this buy now and see where it takes us so it's going to take us so it's going to redirect us to paypal where we are going to make payments and once payment is done we can then purchase the product and have the product I mean, after purchasing the product, it's going to redirect us to where we can download the product. So this is amazing, guys. Are you not seeing it? This is amazing. You can use this to start getting started, to start selling anything online. So you can sell your ebooks and whatever you want to sell. As you can see, I'm the owner of the PayPal, so I won't be able to, you know, log in and pay. But I can pay with my debit or credit card here. So, but I'm not going to make payment. I just want to show you the process and how this thing works as you can see it's working perfectly and there is no you uh, know stuff here so i can enter my credit card details here and make payments for that product and once payment is done it's going to redirect me to a place where i can download the product now and that's it so i believe you enjoyed this video now remember this is responsive so you can go to mobile this is how it's going to look like on a mobile phone once they click on buy now they have their product now after doing all this creating this thing please make sure to hit publish now after publishing you need to enter the name of the product you need to enter the name of the site save this url here because that will be the url of your products now if you want to con connect a custom domain name i showed you exactly how to connect a custom domain name in this video here how to connect the custom domain name here so you can watch it and learn how to connect a custom domain name to it but if you don't want to do that you are good to go as well so don't forget um enter a name save this link that will be the link to the product and make sure anyone with the link can be able to view it and hit publish and after that you are done
so i believe you enjoyed today's video if you have any question at all hit me up in the comment section i'm there to take your question subscribe to the channel because i have many other videos coming up soon for you guys if you have any question like i said i'm in the comment section so in this video we just did three things google site google drive and our payment gateway which is paypal in this video so you remember you can add any other payment gateway so thank you for watching today's video i believe you got value from it if you want me to do any video for you just tell me in the comment section and i'll think about it now if you don't understand anything else as well the comment section is there to for you to you know ask me a question and i'll be there for you as well so thank you for watching today's video i'll see you guys in the next one